I'm just being shady for the sake of being shady because just because <laughs> hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Elena welcome привет I'm your Russian American makeup and beauty addict I love buying and reviewing everything inexpensive usually sometimes they go bougie but usually inexpensive Aliexpress drugstore dollar store I'll test it all up here up here and I'll pass the savings to you guys this is one of those videos it's not a new item but I got it on sale and it cost so low I just could not resist it was on Alta for $15 and this is Morphe that's been around for a year 35H the hot spot and this is what's going on every single color on the palette went on my eyeballs well not every single one but a lot so if you're interested to see what's going on you'll see the swatches first real quickly and then we'll go into the tutorial so keep watching if you're interested don't forget to subscribe and push that button notification bell so you know when I upload I upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time and sometimes some extra video here and there on Saturdays it happens we are in isolation so everything happens here <laughs> so a uh, ring notification bell and like this video if you enjoy it and leave me a comment so let's get right into this video so I got this palette on sale as I said on Alta website a couple of weeks ago and it was $15 I was shopping for something else and then I saw Morphe palette and I'm like, give me. I'm not like a hugest Morphe person. I like Morphe, but um, I have like a variety of different cheap brands. I like cheap, all right? But this one was $15 and all of this beautiful colors has 35 colors for 15. Right now it's 25 on Morphe and on Alta, but it was discounted, so I grabbed it. And I've been using this today. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna do the swatches real quick. Uh, the swatches uh, I'm just gonna do on my hand in pictures. I'm going to insert them in the next clip. So you'll see uh, names, the shade names, and the pictures, and I'll we'll go right into tutorial because this has been around for a year or so, and already everybody knows about it, so nobody needs to see me doing this. So I took the swatches in the bathroom, I took a picture, and I'm going to insert that post production. So let's get right into that and then straight to the tutorial to do this rainbow ish, like a bird of paradise, like Amanda said. So let's get on it. It's not a new item, of course, as I already said it in the beginning, but it was so tempting to get on sale for 15 bucks. I mean, it looks delicious. Look at this. Yes. And I had to use like most of the colors on my eyeballs immediately. So that's what turned out. I wanted to use half and half and it kind of turned out into almost a rainbow look. So we're gonna dig right in. And by the way, if you guys don't like to clean your brushes and use the color switch, I used the color switch and I still used all of these brushes. I know it's bad. But when you use so many colors, you kind of have to. So I'm using a variety of different brands. I'm using Jessup brush. This is 231 Luxe Petite Crease. It looks like this. And it's just one of the that came in the set. So I wanted to go right for the deep bright blue. I would say it's a deep dark blue, right? The bright. And the color names are over here on the screen. So this is a wave maker. And it's kind of all Miami Beach uh, themed, which kind of brings me back to the memories living in the be in Miami. Cool off, ripple effect, uh, sleigh day, poppy, seriously, South Beach, and there is a mommy, poppy and mommy. Okay, caffeine buzz. That must be Cuban coffee. Anyway, I'm not gonna read all that stuff. 
<laughs> so I'm going into this dark deep blue this one and I'm going right into the outer corner as usual I like to go from the deepest into the lightest as you can see I did this over the base and the fallout wasn't bad so I'm using just a concealer base today because I'm really feeling very basic I didn't want to go with P. Louise base I was doing my base and I mixed two concealers I mixed CoverGirl and mixed the uh, e.l.f. Uh, hydrating concealer and it kind of turned out good so I used that as a base as well so I'm putting this in the outer corner and I wanted to do half and half, the red and the blue. So I'm putting it above my grease slightly, because the grease is going to be cut anyway. So I'm just going over close to the middle, just like I did in this eye. Trying to fade it out immediately, just a little bit. No problem blending. I mean, I usually like Morphe palettes. There's some blending issues sometimes with some colors and blue is notorious for being hard to blend. That's another reason I'm using concealer. I didn't want it to give it a easy time. <laughs> I wanted to give it a hard time. And I'm using over concealer. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just pro pro MUAs from shaking their boots. So I'm using this uh, I think it's a perfusion brush. It's just very similar size and I'm digging into a brightest red I think the name is heat up and it's like a corally red this one the one that's next to it is this one is more of a metallic red so I want to go to bat and I want to go bright as possible I'm gonna go right into my inner corner just press it in, kind of tap, and build it up. It, it is pretty. This color is amazing. I always get away with doing these looks, bright looks, over the base. And I never have any issues. Just have to be careful, you know. Not splash it all over. So, on the same brush, I'm going to dip into the color that looks like it has a little shimmer to it. It kind of reminds me a texture of sequin in Tati Beauty. Uh, so this is a color of the grid. No, this is not. That's coral, coral diving. Yeah, it's very appropriate. It's very corally. This one it has a little bit of a kind of a sparkle in it, but it's still a matte. So I use that to blend out. So now I'm doing this similar thing with blue. Here's the thing: the color. I wanted to blend into I wanted to make it matte but there is not not a true matte that's a uh, cool blue there is this this kind of blue it's like a more of a sea blue but I wanted uh, like this so I use this one it's not really well I mean it's foiled but it's not super bright foiled so I use that to blend I don't know how I like that idea but I use that over, so I'm just going to do the same thing I did in the other eye, clean up the brush and the color switch, and I'm going to go into that uh, kind of a foiled eye shadow. I know, usually I don't do the foiled over the eyebrow bone here, but since I'm going to highlight brow bone anyway, it actually looks decent, right? It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't have too much shine, so you can get away with it. And now I can go back into a matte blue and add just a little more. So we can get away with this. So then we can start blending between the red and the blue. Start blending in. I use both brushes in between both of them. I'm dipping into, let me see, that's called Singled Out. And this is another blue that has a little shin it's another one it's like it's not completely foiled but it has a little, bit, a little bit of shin and I like that because it has very very bright blue and it probably they did it because uh, this kind of texture blends easier I'm just adding it over 
because I like that tone. It's more of like electric blue. Yes. And back into red. So I'm gonna dip back into that coral bright red and go try to blend these two together. I mean, of course, eventually you're gonna get a little purple in between. That's why this look looks uh, rainbow-ish. So I'm measuring where my red ends here and here. Make sure it matches. And that never happens. Try it at home, guys. Try to do one eye and then the other eye separately and we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's not an easy feat. So, back to dark blue and go over a little bit here. I like to smoke out, out, way, way out. So I'm going to highlight the brow bone immediately uh, with another gesso brush. Uh, this is a Lux pencil and it's 230, number 230. Looks like this. And I'm gonna go into the color called Ripple Effect and it's very kind of bluish white, blue green, has a little reflect to it. It's really pretty too. That's a perfect highlight color. See that? Really nice. I don't know, I missed that palette when it came out, I looked at it. I looked at it, I looked at reviews, I watched YouTube videos, it looked nice, but I'm like, mm, I think I'll pass. Now I'm like, hmm, that's actually a nice palette. <laughs> I don't know why I passed on it first. So using a fluffy brush, and I'll dig into the neutral shade. As you can see, in the middle of this palette, there's a bunch of neutrals. I like the way it makes sense. So it's all blues and yellows and almost green here, and here is corals and reds and pinkish tone and there is neutral, so it's kind of like a perfect palette. I love that. So I'm going right into this one, and that's Siesta. Siesta looks a little boring. I guess Siesta means a rest, sleep, so that makes sense, very beige. So I'm using this to brighten up my inner corner here, close to my nose, because I see a lot of red went in there, so I don't want red there. So now I'm going to clean it up with light. And this is another gesso brush, by the way, just a clean brush I had. Uh, that's very fluffy. It's Lux Grease, but whatever. 228 Lux Grease, Lux Grease brush. I like to use this in this spot because it diffuses a light color very well. So for now, the initial blending is done with the red and blue. I'm going to cut the crease the way I did it in this eye, as regular cut crease. I'm using the same concealer for that because I wanted to test this palette, how it works with the concealer. So cover girl, true blend, undercover, so and flat brush. So we all know how to cut the crease and I'll be back with the cut crease. Okay, cut crease done, pretty much just like half of the eye. And I'm going into this, as you can see in the other eye, I did a transition, a rainbow-ish. So I'm going to go into this blue color that's called Pool Floaty, this one. Then I'm gonna follow up with this one called Slay Day. And this one's called Puppy. The names, the names, who comes up with them? Some reason gives me giggles. So I'm going into this, the blue-ish one first. It's a nice aqua color. I'll put this in the inner corner. I feel like some of these foiled eyeshadows are more foiled than the others. Like this is really pretty, but I think the yellow one is more foiled than the blue one. So I don't know. It doesn't bother me because this is a rainbow-ish look. It's really, really pretty. All over the lid, this would be real nice too. So I'll clean up the brush on the color switch and go into that green-ish color, the Slay Day. And how fast am I gonna lose that paper with the names? <laughs> Very fast. 
I don't know why uh, revolution has mirrors in their palettes. And makeup revolution is comparable in price, if not better. And they have mirrors like almost all palettes. And Morphe cannot put mirrors in theirs. Except for a few. What's up, Morphe? Why have you been so cheap? I'm being shady. But yes. Revolution, being very inexpensive brand, still puts mirrors. Actually, mirrors really don't bother me because I always use hand mirror. Or I use the mirror in the bathroom. So, to me, having a mirror in a palette, it's really useless, honestly. I'm just being shady for the sake of being shady. Because, just because. Because I watched the drag race yesterday. <laughs> Have you guys been watching? Yesterday was Friday. I'm filming this on Saturday, April 4th. So that was a good episode, the Snatch Game. I love the Snatch Game. Gigi Good was so good. I was not a big fan of Gigi Good, not because I don't like her, just because my drag aesthetic, I'm more into like a Jada Essence whole drag, like, you know, really fabulous Snatch drag. Uh, I'm not saying that Gigi Good is worse, but now I'm like, ooh, she's funny. And she's funny, really, really funny. I like the snatch game. All right, so I'm going into the other side, like here. I did the little red, pinkish color, and this is flaunt, and this is like a really pinkish shimmer. Let me show you. It's a nice color right here. So I might go into this too. This is a alter ego, and this one is party on. So the party on is gonna go closer to my outer corner just to blend it all in, just so I don't have to lift this palette yet again. <sighs> I'm gonna go into this first, really, really pretty. The foil shades are so nice here. I don't know what kind of rhyme and reason all to put this on sale. Probably because of the, all the shit that are going on in the world. Everything is on sale. The makeup brands thinking we sit at home boring, bored and buying makeup. And they've been right. <laughs> Although, I'm trying not to buy a lot because you never know when you're going to lose your job. I already did. I got laid off. I mean, uh, for low, do you call it for low? But of course, my gym couldn't keep you forever. None of us. So, all the gyms, I'm pretty sure, are for low, the instructors and hourly. Uh, paid employees so and my husband still has a job so <laughs> hopefully it's gonna be like that till the end of this so blending two together I'm going between the yellow and that pinkish color which I forgot the name already because who cares who cares what the name is so we're creating this rainbow look I really enjoy this kind of blend. I love the rainbow. I mean, who doesn't? So going into Alter Ego, which is like a darker foil shade, more of a, like a mauve shade. And then I'm gonna go into a matte shade. And Teresa would be proud of me. I'm using the same brush. I keep on cleaning it in between. It doesn't take away from the fact that I have to have a lot of brushes. And that's the only one I've been cleaning. <laughs> I'm so useless with this. I'm going with Party On, which is really pretty. Uh, I would say it's like a dark mauve shade. Burgundy, I guess you'd call. It's really nice. Yes, that one. So I'm going into the outer corner. Kind of plopping on top of blue so it blends. So it got real rainbow effect. So now I have to make sure it ends at the right spot, the same way the other eye ends, where the purple goes and the blue goes. Cause we can't have different eyeballs. The eyeballs gotta match. Gotta be at least sisters, if not twins. Forget about eyebrows being sisters. I'm just trying to make my eyeballs instead of eyebrows being sisters. <laughs> All right, so that's blending real well. 
I'm enjoying this kind of look. Of course, you don't have to do put all of the colors of the rainbow on your eyes, but since I just got this palette, I wanted to test most, if not all, of the colors right away. So I'm putting the blues and the reds. I just went back into blue, like a dark blue color, so we can blend it even better. So you see we're getting this rainbow look. So I'm going to continue blending in between these and I'll be back to finish off my low lash line. And just a little more blending so we can go into smoking out the low lash line. So the low lash line, I'm using a small brush. This is another Just Up Detail Shader 237. Looks like this. It's a flat shading brush. So I'm going right into the same deep blue, kind of mixing the two together, the singled out and the wave maker. Because this one has a little shimmer in it, but not a lot. And this one is flat and matte. So going between the two and we're going to smoke out the low lash line. I like this brush because it's very firm and it's good to control uh, the low lash line. Especially after your base is done, you can use something like this so it doesn't get go over. Because if you use a bigger fluffier brush after your base, you can destroy everything you've done. So this way I don't get a lot of fallouts because it's so small. It's very small and precise. It's a little bit fallout, but I'll clean it up later. So check in for the even eyes. I think this one is getting a little bigger, <laughs> but that's always an issue, right? Um, using another brush, I'm probably going to use the same one, right? I'm forgetting what I used in the first place. That's what happens when you do one eye first. You know the same flat brush I used before. I'll dip into the red. Which one the red did I put? See, I'm forgetting. I'm going to mix in between a little shimmery one and a matte one and put that in my inner corner here. And then I'll add the yellow one in between. Just a little bit, just the same way I hit it here. So I'll clean this up on the color switch real well and dip into the yellow one. I like this. This is a Morphe flat brush, by the way. I like to use it for a lot of things. It's so convenient. You can even cut crease with it. I like a smaller brush for cut crease, so but this is good for packing. I like packing color with this. Especially if oils real, real nice. So do you guys still exercise? Or are you just giving up? Staying at home? You know, it's kind of getting scarier and a fewer people on the street, so in a way I feel safer if I go for a run. My husband and I went for a run on Thursday. And today is Saturday, so yeah, went on Thursday. We went for a run, like two of us, for an hour. And there were barely any people out. It was kind of good in a way, because I'm like, well, I can't breathe at anybody. Nobody can breathe at me. So that was good. And go back into red. As usual, I like to go in between the colors, so brighten up. I'm going to go right here. Brighten up the red. Oh, by the way, I put the white eyeliner, if you can notice, you probably noticed, that's NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil Milk. So, looking pretty even, I think, right? I think both eyes look pretty even. So, I'm going to put the same into the inner corner as a highlight on the same brush, the same highlight shade. But, of course, it wasn't enough, so eventually I added glitter in there on the other eye. That's what's going to happen. Okay, so the low lash smoked out and I think they're looking pretty even. Mm. For now. Once I put the lashes on, I can adjust the low lash line if it looks a little uneven. That's what usually happens. So now I'm going into my old trusty care beauty glitter. I felt like I could get away without glitter, but I wanted this extra touch. I just could not resist. I have to have glitter. I mean, I have to. So Care Beauty in the color Magic, and that's green. So this is going to be going into inner corner here. And then a little above that, 
I'm going to another care beauty and this is a color thirst I think this one is getting dry so I might have to use another brand so so use a small skinny brush this is from Aliexpress and this is a part of big set so it's like the whole set was $13 of oh, 13 three dollars <laughs> All right, so a little line the cut crease and make sure they're even. But I don't want to overtake with green because I want it to be most, mostly cold. And I'm using this one. It looks like I've used a lot of it before, so I might have used it up. So I have a lot of gold glitter though. It's not that easy to apply. Yeah, I think I'm going to use another brand. So I have the Aliexpress glitter, which is not much different, if not any better. That's Hyundaian brand. It's really, really foiled. It's beautiful gold glitter. So I'm using that instead on the same detail brush. That's what I ended up doing in the other eye. Because Care Beauty one is dry, dry, and laid to the side. So I'm going to use my um, mascara from uh, probably Essence. I forgot which one I used already. Anyway, <laughs> eyeliner from Milani and eyelashes from uh, Primark. Actually, that was from Penis. And I'm going to be back with the Finnish Platy look. The eyelashes, probably, that's the ones I bought, bought in Penis. And that's the Baby Lash, I think. They're really fluffy, as you can see. So I'll be back with the finished look. So here we go, beat. The face is beat, the eyeballs are beat. Everything looks very uh, even, I think. I finished with eyelashes, as I said, from Penis, the eyeliner from Milani, and the mascara was Lash Princess. So that's what I got. Let me zoom you in. All the way in. Ooh, it gets close. This camera is really good. I'm filming on my 4K camera again. This is amazing. And I'm operating it with my iPad. This is like high end right there. I finally figured out something. So that's what I got. I really, really enjoy this kind of uh, look. It's one of my favorite things to create like rainbow like looks. And that's what I got. I really, really like the palette. The palette really performs well. I'm not saying that other Morphe palettes don't, but the palette that I have, the 35V, uh, the one with the blues in it, those blues, I don't think they're as good as these blues here. There's something about this formula. It's changed. I really, really enjoyed blending it. Let me zoom you back out. Yes, yeah, so... I think the formula is different here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is amazing. Not to say the others aren't. I like Morphe palettes, but I really, really enjoy this. And I missed it as it came out like a year ago, but this is really, really good. I enjoyed every single shade. Every single shade performed amazingly. Morphe really killed on this one. And this palette has not been talked about a lot. Um, kind of was in and out thing, but I, I love the concept. It's like reds and blues. It's kind of sort of the answer to Jeffree Star's uh, Blue Blood and Blood Sugar. Of course, you can't compare the two, but this is amazing. I mean, look at this. Look at what I created. <laughs> and it was, it was ease, too. There was no problems. What I'm most impressed about is the blues, because as you might know, blues are hard to formulate and hard to blend. So the blues are so easy. Even the deepest, coolest blue here had ease for blendability. It was so nice. It was so creamy. There was no patchiness. And I blended it all on concealer, which like amazing, because concealer base usually gives you harder time than, let's say, P. Louise base. But this was easy. Everything came out great. So if you guys are interested, this palette is available on Ulta as it has been available for a year. <laughs> I just didn't use it. 
So um, it was on sale for $15. Right now on Alta is $25. On Morphe might be less. I have to check. If, when I find information, I'll insert information here or here. Uh, what how much it costs on Morphe website because Morphe is having a lot of sales right now so this might be on sale I'm not 100% sure so I'll insert that information so let me know what you guys think do you own this palette it's been around for a while so you might I really enjoy it I want to dig in more you can even create nice neutral looks here although I'm not into neutrals but you could <clears throat> and all red on all blues it's just amazing it looks gorgeous so let me know what you guys think leave me a comment and like this video if you enjoy me painting my eyeballs in different colors every single time that's parakeet that's me <laughs> so subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet upload every monday wednesday friday at 11 a.m pacific time i create this kind of looks and i do reviews mostly inexpensive sometimes bougie mostly inexpensive <laughs> so i'll see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching bye